What's up guys? I uh, just recently stumbled upon this little bit of research that was conducted um, about the mortality rate of pro bodybuilders versus um, the average American male. And it was honestly very shocking. And not for the reason you might expect. So here's the statistics right here. And as you can see, um, the mortality rate for professional bodybuilders is less than the average American male. I don't think this says as much about bodybuilding as it does the current state of health in the United States. To see a similar mortality rate between a group of people that is heavily abusing performance enhancing drugs, a group that is heavily abusing diuretics, a group that is fluctuating massive amounts of weight all the time, people who are carrying a lot of excess body weight year round, for the average American to, to have a mortality rate that's even close to this group of people is not good. And this is largely because people are just living more and more sedentary lifestyles. Uh, there's more and more office jobs. People are spending most of their day on their ass. They're eating shit food. People are going to fast food every day just because these shitty foods are cheap. They're super affordable and they're super convenient and they're really fast and they fit into our busy, busy lifestyles. On top of that, we have unprecedented rates of mental illness and anxiety, depression. Our sleep hygiene is really fucked up because we have busy schedules. We're, we're always on our phones. We're exposed to that blue light all the time. It keeps us awake. So our sleep's fucked up. Our exercise is fucked up. Our diet is fucked up. And, you know, overall, this leads to a state of poor health. And I think this is largely the reason why we see a decrease in testosterone in men over the years is because of these lifestyle changes. Um, you get a poor sleep, your testosterone dips. You drink alcohol, it dips. You have a shitty diet, it dips. You don't exercise, it dips. So yeah, all these lifestyle factors are affecting our performance, they're affecting our mental health, they're affecting our physical health, and all in all, the average American is as unhealthy or more unhealthy as a professional bodybuilder, which is unbelievable and shocking and awful. It's honestly pretty sad. And uh, yeah, I don't know if, if, you know, maybe this is a message for all you guys to just get off your ass, go do something, get on an exercise routine, eat healthy food, eat your vegetables eat your fucking vegetables, and get a good night's sleep. And that's really all you need to do. And trust me, your physical health, first of all, obviously, is going to get way better. But your mental health, huge difference, guys. Huge difference. If you can get on a schedule, a, a nor an exercise routine, on top of the endorphins that it releases, that give you, like, chemically make you happier, um, it just, exercise can give you a sense of self-determination and control over your life that you otherwise might not have. And that can make a huge difference in just your attitude towards how you view the world, how you view yourself and your place in the world. Um, so I just highly suggest everybody kind of just try a little bit harder to, you know, go for a walk every day. And that's kind of how it starts. It's that easy. Um, anyway, I just thought that this study was um, shedding a lot of light on the current state of health in America. It's a bit scary. But it is what it is, and there's definitely something we can do about it. So find some time to get off your ass, eat some good foods, eat your vegetables, get a good night's rest. That's all, guys. Peace.